So this is like what happens when you win the lottery on an oyster farm. This, if we can see all this stuff here, this is all, I know I haven't put any seed here from anywhere else. So this is all natural set here. All these little guys, beautiful little oysters here have just settled out of the water column all on their own, natural process. Um, and they're almost, almost up to extra smalls. I can just pick them up by the handful. I love it. So um, yeah, those guys probably, yeah, if the if the growth, if there's some feed in the water this winter, in in the spring, those will be uh, nice little extra smalls, and they'll go uh, they'll go into the oyster bars in Vancouver and all over the world. Um, beautiful little product. Um, a lot of mine are being sold as uh, Royal Miyagi's, which basically just means it's a beach-grown uh, extra small oyster. So how do you pick oysters? One at a time. Takes a lot of oysters to make a living. Looking for the nice ones. And now they go into the Vexar bags for uh, or transport to market. And that's it. On to the next one. And we'll do that all day or all night long till we get as many as we need. There we go. So after working on this for 30 years, I'm maybe getting ready to have one of those branded names. So you can come to your favorite oyster bar and request. Aphrodite's cherubs. Thank you.